GMA on call. Millions of Americans take medication to lower their blood pressure, but new research suggests there may be a better solution. The idea is that some people, some people may be able to toss their pills and visit a chiropractor instead. So how would it work? And is this method right for everyone? One in three adults suffer from high blood pressure. Nobody can say for sure what makes it rise, but now a new medical study is cautiously suggesting an unusual way to bring it down. Realign the spine. When the spine is misaligned, it can affect all types of things, all types of diseases, conditions. The idea is that the C1 vertebra, located at the top of the spine, operates like a fuse box in the body. When twisted, it can pinch arteries and nerves at the base of the neck, not only causing discomfort, but affecting blood flow, too. Denise Neiman suffered from neck pain. Your upper body's off to the left two degrees and your hip is X-ray showed her C1 out of alignment. A special chiropractic adjustment lowered the pain and her blood pressure at the same time. My blood pressure dropped tremendously. Could there be a connection? We designed a double-blind uh, study to really look and see if, in fact, this procedure was affecting blood pressure. 25 patients got the special adjustment, 25 others a fake one. The ones who got the real thing saw their blood pressure drop an average of 17 points, a dip that usually takes two blood pressure medications to achieve. So, this is pretty significant. But before you run out and get your neck adjusted, you should know that only a handful of chiropractors are qualified to do this kind of thing. The study is still being reviewed, and though blood pressure was still down eight weeks later, nobody can say for sure how long the adjustments will last. And we want to thank our fabulous Chicago station, WLS, for all their help on this story. Now for more on the possible connection between your spine and your blood pressure, our medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson, joins us now from Boston. So, Tim, what do you think of this study? Well, it's obviously very intriguing, the idea that a simple manipulation of the neck might result in a very significant lowering of blood pressure. There are obvious limitations to the study. Only 50 patients, only 25 treated, only eight-week follow-up, a very special kind of chiropractor training required. But it certainly is intriguing and deserves further study. And in fact, a larger study is now underway. And so tell us how, in theory, how does this work, realigning the neck, the spine? Well, the truth is we really don't know, but that vertebra at the top of the neck is in a very critical area where the brain stem, the lower part of the brain, is involved with the regulation of blood pressure. So it's theoretically imaginable that changing the anatomy of that area might have some effect on the regulation of blood pressure. So people at home are you know, starting to feel around the back of their neck right now saying, so how do you know um, if, if it's in alignment? Well, aside from having pain that might bring you to a doctor or to a chiropractor, you really wouldn't know unless you get an x-ray. And so the, the intriguing question with further study that verifies that this might be a possibility will be how do we suggest which people go and get their next x-rayed and maybe have this kind of manipulation? There's a lot to sort out, but uh, I'm telling you, the medical world will pay attention to this because of the very significant drop in blood pressure, and eventually I think we'll sort out which people should go and have their next x-ray. Well, that's, a, that's huge, because I was automatically, when I heard about this yesterday, my mother has battled with high blood mm -hmm. pressure, and I know that uh, she has a little bit of curvature in the spine and wanting to know, of course, she's 84, so you have to know if this is right for each particular person and also how long does it actually last or you can just toss well, the pills or do you have to do it ever so often see we we don't know that these people had just one manipulation and eight weeks later their pressure was still down how long that will last is what will be required for further study so a lot of unanswered questions but I'm telling you, uh, this catches our attention because of the significant drop in blood pressure. It absolutely deserves more study. And it's helpful. Now you can go to your doctor, as you always say, make sure you check with your family doctor and ask him about this and see if it's right for you. Yeah, I wouldn't consider the chiropractor to become now the primary care doctor for people with high blood pressure. Right. They should absolutely go to their own doctor. But in talking with their doctor, if they're having some neck problems, they might want to entertain the idea of looking at this, especially when we get more data to sort it out. All right, Tim, thanks for the house call this morning. Certainly do appreciate yeah. it. Have a good day.